All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Kudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, basically, um, title or, or, or topic of this video okay is um basically you know when you're a newcomer okay a lot of people they come into this truth or this knowledge and they want to shoot straight to the top okay and uh you know that's basically you know you're new into this truth you still got the world on you okay and you have to 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 grow in in this this word Okay, is the uh, scripture say, okay, about a newborn babe, okay, 1 Peter 2 and 2, is newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby, okay, so you should, you should want to come into this truth and, you know, get the, the, the basics down. Okay, you have a lot of people that, you know, come into this truth, and I've seen it for myself. Heck, I was even there myself, okay? You come into this truth, and, you know, you want to be the man. You, you, you found out, you know, your happiness, okay? Your real happiness, okay? And one of the, the, the main things is realizing that, that we don't know anything. Okay. Um, you have people who come in and they wanna, you know, be that that put the camera on me. You know, hey, yeah, put the camera on me. I, you know, some people that don't wanna be a, a reader, you know, don't wanna hold signs. They wanna just shoot straight up to being a, a, a you know a speaker. You know, some people you know wanna come straight in. You know, already got their Hebrew name. Throw it out. Um, already, uh, you know, wanna wanna be the uh, the camp head or, or, or have some type of position of rank, you know, and, and start trying to make changes. You can't do that in this truth, man. Okay, First Samuel two and three. Talk no more, so exceedingly, exceeding proudly. Okay. You have a lot of guys, you know, you come into the truth, and a lot of guys like talking a lot. You know, one of the best things to do is to be a sponge, okay? Because when, when a baby is a newborn, okay, their mind is like a sponge, and they soak up everything that's around them, okay? So you're supposed to be like a sponge and just soak up. You know, the things that are around you ain't growing the spirit. Yeah, you may, you may be in a situation where you come into the truth and, you know, you want to tell everybody, you know, I'm an Israelite. You know, go on your job and, you know, tell the people on your job, you know, that they're Israelites. Everybody, everybody been there before. Okay? But the thing is, once you get wise... Okay, that you'll realize, you know, everybody ain't meant to get this truth. Okay, heck, I, when I first came in, you know, I was telling people, hey man, this, that, or whatever, so called, you know, uh, white people are, are Edomites, the Edomites are the devil. Somebody, you know, on the job, nigga almost uh, tried to fight me on the job. You know? Till I had to realize that it ain't for everybody to, you know, it's a time and place for everything. Okay? Uh, which it didn't get, get to that point of, uh, you know, uh, of, of us actually fighting on the job. The, the guy actually came around and, and, and started saying like, yo, my people said that, you know, that they Israelites, man, you've been telling the truth the whole time. You know? So it's not... All we got to do is just teach the word, man. 
Okay, it's not us out here performing and doing these these deeds, man. Okay, that that pride, okay, or, or arrogancy. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. It says, "Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth." Okay, arrogant is having or revealing an exaggerated sense of one's own importance or abilities. Okay. It says, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is a God or power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Okay? So don't that, that action of you wanting to try to shoot up to the top, the Lord has a way to, 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 to bring that down. Okay? To, 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 to humble you, man. Okay? Let me get that scripture. Matthew 23 and uh, 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Okay? 1 Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves. Okay? Because that's what, that's what the Lord wants. Okay? Guys that are humble. Okay? Having or sowing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. Okay. Of low social, administrative, or political rank. Okay. You coming to this truth, you should be you should be uh you know in a a, a, a sad state of mind. Okay, because we went off. Okay. And just because you know that you're an Israelite don't mean that you 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 you're gonna be saved, man. Okay, your 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 work is just now starting. First Peter five and six. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh that He may exalt you in due time. Okay, one of the things that we have to add on to our spirit. Okay, which the scriptures first off, you know, says, uh, you know. I'm going to get that before I get that scripture. Uh, John, is it 4? And uh, uh, 23. But the hour come, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship him. And when you come into this truth, you're going to get scorched. Okay, you're going to get that, 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 whatever it is off of this world. If you're a man of the Lord, you're, if you're a true worshiper, all of that is going to get off of you. Okay, and the Lord is going to beat it off of you. Okay, he's going to humble you. Okay, once again, that's what the scripture said. Okay, if you try to, if you try to exalt yourself, you're going to be humbled, man. Okay, but you got to let the, the Lord exalt you. Okay, it says, God, or Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay, so yeah, you may have found the truth, right? But these are the things that you must add on to your spirit, okay? Uh, uh, Second Peter 1 and 5, and beside this, giving all diligence. Right? You got to continue to put on, put years in. Okay? You don't just be on a level and you ain't putting in no work, man. Okay? You got you to gotta show that you really about this thing, man. Okay? Doing the videos. Okay? Coming out. Okay? You got to really show, um, yeah, you may be interested in it, but a lot of people come in and they're interested and they end up just falling out. Okay, so you got to show uh, a, a continual, okay, or, 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 or repetition of uh, works, man. It says, um, in virtue, okay, and to virtue, knowledge, okay, and then it says, uh, you know, temperance and patience. Okay, one of the main things is patience, man. Okay, it says godliness. 
okay? Having the fact that, you know, the Lord is looking down on you, okay? And every action that you're doing is, is being weighed, okay? Yeah, I see that he's proud. Okay, let me let me do this in order to, to, to humble him, man. Okay? You may even come in and end up getting kicked out. Right? Which, that happened to me. Okay? Came in, got kicked out in order for me to learn my lesson. Okay? And then, guess what? The Lord brings you back in. But you don't want to get kicked out, man. Okay? And ultimately, you don't want to get kicked out, you know, the truth, period. Okay? It says, uh, Proverbs 30 and 32. If thou hast done foolishly and lifted, lifting up yourself, or if thou hast thought evil, lay your hand upon your mouth. Okay? This is this is wisdom, man. Okay? It's foolish to try to lift up ourselves. Guess what? The scripture says that the Lord can raise up stones to worship him. If he's able to do that, why do I, why would he need us? Okay, so you got to think about that. Galatians 5 and 26. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. When Yahweh was on the scene, was he out here trying to uh, go for uh, vain glory? That's, that's the, 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 the king of kings, the lord of lords. Did he did he try to set himself to, 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 to be the man? No, he came to do the will of Yahweh Simeon Sa. As as a we. He set the example of what we should be. Okay? You want your glory before before the Lord gets his? Ecclesiastes six and eleven. Seeing there be many things that increase vanity, what is man the better? So you think with all this stuff that, that's here today and gone tomorrow that you're better? It's, your life is, is, is like uh, 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 smoke, man. Vapor. That's what the word vanity, vanity uh, uh, is. Okay, vapor breath. Okay, you you blow it in the air, and guess what? It's gone. Okay, so you're not all this all this stuff in life. Even even us, man, is you know we're able to be here today and gone tomorrow. It says, for who knows what is good for man in this life? And you may think that you know what's good for you in this life. For you to do these things, for you to be a cat pet, for example. Right? You don't know what it takes to, 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 to be a cat pet. Okay? And the stress that that comes along with that. Okay? The the, the fact that uh you have to to to, 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 to be wise when you're bringing judgment. Okay? Even coming into this truth, the fact that you know this is is that isn't something to 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 really brag about because the scripture says that you know the person who who knows and doesn't do what the Lord says, they're gonna get uh you know beaten with many stripes, man. Okay, you don't want to be that that person that if the scriptures say. Hey, this is what you're supposed to do. Okay, be humble. And then you, you don't do it, and you end up getting beat with many stripes. It says, for who knows what, what is good for man in this life? The Lord knows. All the days of his life, vain life, which he spends, is a shadow. For who can tell a man what shall be after him, after, I mean, under the sun? 
And it's nobody but Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Okay, he knows. Okay, Philippians 2 and 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, being humble. Let, let each esteem other better than themselves. So you're supposed to be looking at the next brother, you know, is a better man than yourself. Instead of trying to put yourself on a pedestal, okay, like you're better than, 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 than anybody, okay? If it's meant for you to be, let's say you're, you're you know, one of the, the apostles in the uh, reincarnation, Okay, or or you know you know uh you're somebody you know from the, the the past coming back. Your thing shouldn't be, <laughs> oh I'm a I know who I am, so I'm going to just jump up there to the top. You know, and I done seen guys who who, who claim to be, you know, somebody, and then, you know, they end up going somewhere else. You know, you got a lot of people out here, you know, that, that are saying that they're, you know, certain, certain people. But guess what? That stuff don't, don't, don't mean shit, man. Okay? Because we're not out here seeking our own glory. We're seeking Yahweh by Shem Yahushua glory. Okay? And when that time comes for us to be glorified, okay, it's going to be in the kingdom. Not in this bullshit society. Okay, because you coming into this truth and trying to be the man, you ain't going to get no brownie points from us. You know? Yeah, you may get a, yeah, good video. Yeah, uh, 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 a yeah, good precept. Right? But if you're doing those, the videos and you're doing uh, these precepts, right, who word are you speaking? You're not speaking your own words, or you shouldn't be speaking your own words. You're speaking the words of your Bashem Yahushua. Okay? So our mindset should be on trying to grow in this truth. Okay? Get the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And pray that we're able to endure until the end. Okay? Through the strength and power of your Bashem Yahushua. So with that, I want to say Salawam.